everyone in today's video i'm going to give you some tips and tricks of fake emulsification when you are stuck with deep ball of nucleus in a soft cataract case this is an immature senile cataract of grade 1 nucleus sclerosis here we can see a good red reflex coming from behind so we have skipped the step where you stain the interior capsule with trypan blue you can even use retroillumination in your microscope if you have any difficulty in visualizing the unstayed capsule however if you are a young surgeon with only 10 to 20 cases in your bag and are on an early stage of their learning curve there is no harm in staining that interior capsule we have directly begun with capsulorexis after filling the interior chamber with viscocohesin that is helon in this case we are aiming for a large capsulorexis of at least 5 mm in size the flap here is unfolded on itself and with the help of shearing vector force we have made an optimum size rexis after making a 2.2 main incision we start with cortical cleaving hydrodissection these early imscs require a good hydrodissection as well as a good hydrodelineation you can see two golden rings here which shows that your hydrodelineation is completed this particular patient had deep set eyes and was having a lot of pooling so we have placed a cotton wick in low phonics as you can see anyways coming on to fake emulsification we have set lower energy parameters for this case vacuum of about 450 to 500 mm of mercury and an optimum flow rate of about 40 cc per minute but as you can see the endonucleus is very soft and is melting away in front of the phaco probe the second instrument is cheesing through the nucleus matter despite of an adequate trench the endonucleus refuses to divide and you're left with nothing but a bowl of nucleus so we rotate the nucleus and try to catch the overhanging edge of the nucleus in front of the phaco probe such nucleus being very soft they generally are difficult to divide one can attempt chip and flip if you are stuck with this deep bowl of nucleus the nucleus is melting away again as you are trying to make a grip on the nucleus and to build the vacuum but with the continuous attempt to hold the overhanging edge in front and simultaneous chipping of the nucleus it becomes easy once you're left with this kind of one third part of the overhanging edge it's much easier to build the vacuum between the probe and the lens matter now it has become easy to flip the nucleus This simultaneous chipping and flipping technique of the nucleus is called chip and flip and is one of the best mode to tackle the situation of deep bowl nucleus. We have rotated the nucleus again. Yes, here we have a breakthrough and the nucleus flip easily. And once the nucleus is out of the bag, it's easily emulsified. We now switch to epinucleus mode and emulsify the epinucleus. rest of the steps are managed efficiently be patient and take your time in removing the sub incisional part of the cortical matter especially if you are using coaxial irrigation aspiration probe
Hans Kotkel matter is removed successfully. We have filled the bag with cohesive OVDs. In this case, we have used an acrylic, ultraviolet absorbing, monofocal single piece lens to restore the vision of the patient. The lens is implanted into the bag. Time to remove remaining viscoelastic from interior chamber as well as from behind the lens. And we complete the case. Thank you. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.